As an introduction to the panel discussion, I'm speaking with Eric Johnson, the president of the global investment company business for DFIN, a technology and software solutions provider serving the asset management industry. Eric, how has the pandemic altered the top priorities for asset management executives? Richard, it's really brought about a new digital era. Um, the pandemic has forced quick adoption of technology. Many firms in the asset management area have had technology on the horizon, uh, but the pandemic and the work from home environment has really accelerated uh, the technology journey for many firms in, in the industry. With working from home, has there been a, a sharp increase of uh, challenges for compliance, for instance, with these global workforces now, not in offices, but in homes across uh, you know, large geographies? Is that tricky from a compliance point of view? First, I think it's, uh, it's probably important to say it's very impressive how the asset management industry has really responded to the pandemic. Um, but I think what the opportunities that exist are, you know, how do you leverage this new normal? How do you leverage the work from home environment um, to, to better adopt technology uh, and to, to use it to, uh, to reinforce some of the new standards that I think we're seeing in the industry? Um, the, from a regulatory compliance perspective, you know, certainly uh, firms need to reevaluate their uh, technology infrastructure, the software and technology that they're using how they're connecting the back office to the middle office and leveraging technology in the front office. But certainly, I think what we've seen in the pandemic is something that's gonna bring about a, a new normal for the industry going forward. And there are many things that we can leverage as an industry uh, from the learnings from, from this pandemic. And obviously, before the pandemic, there were serious challenges for asset managers across the world. And one of them was cost. Is there still this big focus on costs and how are asset managers using technology to address, uh, address the challenge of cost? Well, cost has always been a, a, a major topic and priority for the industry. I think what's happened is the topic of, of a digital strategy is really um, being reevaluated as a top priority for the industry. And, you know, the clients are really evaluating where they stand from a digitalization prioritization perspective. Uh, and from a strategic standpoint, uh, what that means to the business. But, but ultimately, I think there's a big impact on cost uh, as, as technology can be leveraged uh, to create a more efficient workflow, a better work from home process, and, and ultimately a better experience, but also an opportunity to really drive out costs. Fantastic. And one way that cost has been addressed in previous years is through automation. Are we seeing an increase in the use of automation this year? Has that continued or has it stalled through the pandemic? Certainly uh, automation has been a, a key buzzword in the industry. And I think where we see it going is, is from a workflow perspective, um, certainly using technology to create better processes and more efficient processes. But how does workflow, how do you manage a global workforce and a work from home environment where you're managing a, you know, from a scale perspective you know, very, very large back end and middle office processing uh, areas. And at the same time, how do you then leverage that to, to, bring, uh, to bring the company together from a, from a global perspective? So, um, and I think another real in interesting component here is, is around the importance of organizational culture, um, you know, to support tech adoption. I, I think many firms have, have, have had technology adoption on their strategic roadmaps and, and certainly uh, on the horizon uh, as to where they wanted to go. Uh, but I think, you know, from a cultural perspective, you know, organizations are really, re uh, really reevaluating where they stand on that uh, automation and digital journey. And I think we're going to see some real fundamental change coming out of the pandemic. And obviously, you talk about culture, we're talking about leadership today having buy-in from the top is, is obviously critical. And I suppose potentially the pandemic has showed us more than ever that having that leadership uh, from the senior management is, uh, is vital to actually going through change and using technology to actually navigate some of these challenges. Oh, well, without a doubt, Richard. Um, you know, leadership is probably um, more important than ever. Uh, First, how do you lead a work from home environment? How do you keep people engaged? You know, how do you keep 
spirits up and, and the business priorities at, at the at the right place in the from a from an agenda perspective. And and then also how from a from a leadership perspective do you do you look at the benefits of of technology and what's going on and how companies are interacting and, and changing the business dynamic uh, based on the pandemic. And and from there, how do leaders then say uh, and lead their organizations forward through this digital journey. Um, I think the, the true leader leadership and, the, and what we'll see from a leadership perspective is those firms that re can really embrace and, and change the culture relative to technology adoption uh, are really going to be the ones that uh, leverage the benefits coming out of this pandemic. Scale has always been a big part of the industry and we've seen a big divergence between the giants and the niche players at the bottom. And that has squeezed potentially some of the mid-sized players. How are they grappling with the challenges of scale? Yes, I think scale becomes maybe lesser of an issue uh, when you have a, uh, a, a technology transformation that we're seeing within from coming out of the pandemic. I think uh, digitalization and, and the strategies that are coming out of the pandemic will help those uh, smaller and mid-sized firms, uh, I think, use that technology to be more efficient um, from a cost perspective, from an investor engagement perspective and distribution perspective. You know, technology will allow these smaller and mid-sized firms to better compete with the larger, larger firms that have always uh, traditionally benefited from, from their scale. And are there other ways that technology is helping uh, asset managers grapple with some of these um, some of these changes? For um, you know, you mentioned distribution, obviously a vital part of uh, of the business. Is technology helping helping those mid sized asset managers distribute their products in a more efficient way? Well, I think there's an opportunity to do that. Yes, Richard. I, I think the uh, the industry as a whole has a really big opportunity to change the way. Um, we utilize technology to not only drive out costs internally, which helps those smaller firms, but also how we then distribute that content and that information to investors. And I think we're, we're, we're dawning on an age of a completely new and different investor experience where the, the, the new generation of investors really want to leverage technology. And coming out of this pandemic, I think we're going to be able to, to really drive those type of technology advancements to engage those new investors and make the overall investor experience much better. Wonderful. And just before we wrap up, the, the use of technology across asset managers must vary wildly. Is there a big difference between the most advanced and the least? And how do you see that as a competitive advantage? Well, th there are gaps, significant gaps. And I think the, the opportunity exists uh, to, to really leverage process automation, workflow automation. Uh, but more importantly, I think the model um, has changed forever going forward. Uh, and I think the uh, technology is, is forever embedded in the DNA of, of asset managers. Um, and, and I think those in the industry have always leveraged technology, you know, very, very big technology platforms and, and millions of transactions uh, you know, on a daily basis. But I think the opportunity is, is really the new normal uh, how do we come out of this pandemic um, better than we went in? Um, and how do we use the technology that's readily available today to really change the way we process work at the middle and back office? And, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, I think the, the new normal will be how we really change the investor experience and really engage investors uh, in, in what the asset management firms are, are doing uh, and really, really changing the, the business dynamic on it on a go forward basis. Eric, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, thanks Richard.